Imagine you have a lazy boy reclining chair and all of a sudden lazy boy comes out and says, you know what, if you want optimal problem solving for your back, if you want your back to be completely feeling better, then you need a summer and a winter reclining chair. Summer chair, you know, it's uh, temperature regulated. It cools you. It's better for your back muscles. Whereas in the winter, you know, it's colder out. It injects vitamin C into you. Vitamin D makes you feel better into the winter. You go out and you buy this summer couch too, or the summer chair. And then all of a all of a sudden they say, you know what, you need a new chair every single year because the fibers in the chair break down, you know, the cushions aren't as protective, the the battery for the heating pack on your lower back wears down. You need to buy another chair every single year. Oh, there's a new strain of back uh, problems out there. New things are causing more disc slips. So you need this other chair to properly protect you against disc slips and from vertebrae damage. So as long as the person is buying the product, the salesman is going to keep finding new and innovative ways to sell you a product. It's like the, the iPhone. They purposely make it so that it's going to break after a certain amount of time and you need an upgrade or and the upgrade makes it slower or you need to buy a new phone. So long as there is a consumer market, there isn't this person at the top of Pfizer, just like there isn't that this person who's at the top of Lazy Bo Boy or Apple, whose job it is is to be, you know, their ethics advisor. These things don't exist. They may have in the past, but they don't anymore. There's not a person up there saying, you know, this is going to make us more money, but is it the right thing to do? No, it's on the consumer and frankly on the news media as well to a lesser extent or uh, yeah, to a lesser extent than the person themselves to say, this isn't the right thing to do. You shouldn't be buying into it. I don't blame Bi uh, Pfizer, BioNTech, Lazy Boy, Apple for selling you a lemon all the time. I blame the customer. Their job is to sell you things and to make money. Is there Are there people in Pfizer and Moderna saying we need to help people? Of course there are. There's people who work there that do this because they want to further the science. They want to make people feel better. They want to cure things. But it's also and always was this big giant machine that most people were suspicious of and hated because there's so much profit uh, coming off of people's health and well-being. I mean, you remember Pharma, bro. It wasn't what people said it was, but still, they were so quick to jump on somebody for being so evil. And now all of a sudden, these companies care about you. Now all of a sudden, everything is just for your health. All of a sudden, Bill de Blasio uh loves you all of a sudden joe biden loves you dan crenshaw you want to go republicans all these people love you mitt romney loves you even though he was evil before all these people love you and care about you now that they found a way for you to buy basically with their ta your tax dollars billions upon billions of a product so if you want to keep buying the product go for it don't use my money for it. Don't make me buy the product every single year. 